Hi, we're at Wake Forest Chiropractic today, and thank you, Dr. Phelan, for allowing us to use your facility. What I would like to show you today is how Dr. Phelan actually has a clinical interferential unit here in his clinic. He also uses our Infrex Plus, but part of this is to show you that interferential has been used for literally over half a century, originating in 1953. And what we want to do today is to try to help you understand if you've already received an interferential treatment. Because many people will go to their physical therapist, their chiropractor, their uh, medical doctor, the pain clinic, and they will get a treatment. And all they know is there was a big unit with a lot of lights on it, sometimes a few bells, and they were hooked up to some wires. And they received this electrotherapy treatment that made them feel better. They may have been hurting when they sat down, but when they are during the when during the treatment, they feel better, and when they get up, they feel better. Their pain's gone. Many times, it's attributed to the type of treatment they had. In this case, interferential, which is the most used form of electrotherapy in the world, in the clinic hospital setting, for chronic pain patients. One reason why it's used, it works. That's the reason. And especially if you get in a situation where a patient is having to pay out of pocket because the services may not be covered. That is a classic example of someone that is hurting, that needs relief, and they're not going to come back unless they get the pain relief right then, right there. Now, to schedule for a secondary appointment, they definitely had to come back. And so that's one of the things when I talk with patients that I always tell them, have you ever been to a chiropractic office, physical therapy office, pain clinic? Have you ever laid down on the treatment table and had them put some electrodes on your back and turn a machine on and sort of walk away for 20 minutes and come back and say, how you feeling? If you've done that, chances are very likely it was interferential therapy. Now all we do is the patient can do the exact same thing, except they can do it at home or at work or even when traveling in a car. Because when you feel the pain starting, you can then self-treat. What we're seeing with carryover pain relief is it appears by being able to treat when you need to treat, not when you have the appointment scheduled, that what you're capable of doing is possibly teaching our immune system chronic pain impulse is unnatural. Immune system. We do not need to allow the chronic pain message to come through. Now this may be some physiological changes, and by that I'm saying physical. I'm talking about electricity and the reaction of electricity and tissue and cells and chemical changes, or it may be just truly changing the chemistry so that the pain impulse is not felt. But there's no doubt there are so many patients that literally come in for a clinical interferential treatment and it has worked for over half a century. So to say it's experimental is not a real great answer. It's not experimental. It has been shown over and over patient by patient that it works. The only twist as of January 2009 was that now a patient can self-treat as needed. And we are seeing changes, the biggest one being carryover pain relief. All that simply means is you take a treatment and you go for some time period before you have to treat again because the pain is being reduced or eliminated. Now the most common thing is reduction of pain, not total elimination of pain. But anyway, that's part of this video we wanted to show you today. And again, Wake Forest Chiropractic is where we are. Dr. Phelan, we're very appreciative of you allowing us to film the video here. Thank you.